Hi and welcome to this demo of TrueComp Duplicator version 3.0. In this new version, you have a lot more options as to what you can do with your duplicated comp structure. So real very quickly, what TrueComp Duplicator allows you to do is duplicate the entire hierarchy of your comps and pre-comps. So for an example, this comp here has this pretty pattern. If I open the, this consists of a pre-comp here called middle uh, Mexico comp, which has a bunch of duplicated layers that if I then open, I can see the original Mexico type layer. Uh, if I were to duplicate this the normal way, if I selected my main Mexico comp here and I say edit duplicate, and then, oops, sorry, I want to actually do it here in the project panel. So you can see here it made main Mexico comp too. If I open this and I go ahead and I dig down and I change this to say USA, for example, um, I can go back and see that it actually did update it to say USA. But the problem is that if I go back into my original comp, it also is updated to say USA to make a copy of the entire structure so that I can actually keep both the Mexico version and the USA version, I would have to duplicate all of the comps and replace the usage of each comp, I'm sorry, of each layer in each comp. So it would be quite of a tedious process. So True Comp Duplicator solves that problem. So let's go ahead and undo the change text and undo the duplicate. So now I want to completely create, I want to keep my Mexico comp, and now I want to create a USA comp. So what I'm going to do is go into my True Comp Duplicator and check out the new options. So in the old version, we had the suffix and prefix option, which allows you to just add a suffix, suffix or prefix to the duplicated structure. Now you can actually do search and replace. So as you can see, the word Mexico is in different places in each comp. So I can just tell it to search for Mexico and replace it with the word USA. Then I can also go ahead and group it into folders. So I'm gonna name the folder that I wanted. I'm gonna call it USA, but you can obviously have it be called whatever you want. Um, some of the other options is you can actually tell it to exclude certain items. So if there's certain comps that you don't want it to duplicate, you would um, turn this on and you would add a prefix or a suffix to the comps that you don't want duplicated and it would actually skip those comps. You can also set the depth limit. So if we look at the flowchart view, <clears throat> we can see here that the main Mexico comp, if we go down one depth level, if you will, we have the middle Mexico comp. And then if we go another level down, we get to the actual type comp. So that would be a depth of two. So if I only wanted it to duplicate that middle comp, I would just set it to a depth limit of one. Of course, in this very simple example, it's not a very big problem. But of course, if you have a very, very deep nested uh, comp hierarchy, this could come in kind of handy. Um, then um, we have an option to update expressions. Let me show you what the problem with that is. So when um, in the previous version of, of the comp duplicator, if you had expressions such as, so I'm going to get, um, I'm just going to have two. So normally when you have an expression, let's go here to the main layer. I'm just going to duplicate this layer and just set a quick expression here for position. I'm just going to pick whip over to position and see. It basically says this comp uh, layer Mexico comp two. So it's just referring to another layer in the same comp. But I'm going to go ahead and undo this. It's going to break my expression. If I pick whip it to another comp, so here I'm going to go to the position of another comp. You're going to see that the expression now says um, it refers to a different comp right comp called Mexico type comp and the layer uh, Mexico and it's referring to its position. The problem in the past is when I duplicated this this entire comp structure it did not update the expressions and the expressions were still referring to the old um, hierarchy and that could be a problem. With the new version you can turn on update expressions and these kinds of relationships these kinds of um, intercomp referring expressions will be updated so we'll go ahead and leave that on so you can see what I mean and then finally you can duplicate the footage it it only duplicates the references of the footage in your After Effects project not the footage on on the hard drive itself um, 
we don't have any footage in this case, but um, you know that's pretty self-explanatory. And then finally, you can make several copies if you wanted to copy, you know, twice or three times or ten times. So you could just set that here. You can also copy multiple comp structures at once. So if I had Mexico and Morocco, and I wanted to duplicate them both at the same time, you can just select all the comps that you want and just hit duplicate, and it'll actually duplicate them all in one go, which is also a new feature in previous versions. Um, you had to do them one at a time and then finally as you can see I'm in CS6 here so CS6 is now fully supported so let's go ahead and just select the main Mexico comp hit duplicate selected with the renaming and the updating of the expressions you can see here that it quickly uh, completed it gives you a progress bar because if you have a very deep 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 comp structure this can take a little bit of time especially if you have the update expressions choice selected so you can actually see what's going on so we can just hit OK and we can see we have a new folder now and uh, you can see every 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 time the word Mexico was there was now replaced with the word USA so now in this comp structure if we come over and we look and we look at the uh, expression you can see that it actually updated the name of the uh, type comp obviously the layer is still called Mexico but if we dig if we dig down and we actually change this to say USA you can see the layer name is still um, set to Mexico, so we'll go ahead and delete that. Um, if we come back to Main USA, you can see now that the expression automatically updated itself. So we did not break anything, and all of our intercomp expressions were updated, which is extremely powerful. That was not possible before. This is only available now in the new version. So I hope you guys enjoy the new features. This is True Comp Duplicator version three.